Hi there, this is Jane here to pop down our um, card and our mindfulness um, message for Vlogmas for December the 6th. Can't believe we're motoring through December quite this quickly, but there we are. We are definitely motoring through. So let's have a little shuffle of our black and white Faulkner deck and see what we've got. Our card for the 6th of December is the Two of Pentacles. So, Two of Pentacles is saying that we might need to do some juggling today. So, in terms of um, a card for the day, it talks about kind of needing to balance your energy out. You might need to be moving things around from one place to another kind of dotting yourself about a little bit juggling around um you know the two of pentacles can talk about a feeling of a bit of lack around us so we might need to kind of like just juggle that energy around so that we don't feel like we're so lacking um in energy so that might mean less time spent on some things and more time spent on others um so maybe less time spent on running around like a lunatic and more time spent on nurturing yourself um to get that bit of balance back into our day um so yeah two of pentacles is all about that kind of trying to keep a balance trying to just i always feel like i want to be just 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 tweaking things a little bit to make them easier for us you know this time of year can be very busy and it can sap our energy on all sorts of different fronts so you know just be mindful of that so i'm just gonna undo our little jar and see what our little message is for today so i love these little pictures on them as well they're so cute so we've got a teddy bear today and our teddy bear is saying be attentive to others from close family members to the neighbor whose name you can't quite remember Christmas regularly works as an instigator for social interactions. Next time you stop for a chat, try not to just go through the motions. Make it a more fulfilling experience by keeping the flowing two points, the following two points in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Make eye contact and try to really see the person you're talking to. Their expressions, mannerisms, the way they're interacting with you. Practice mindful listening. Try and truly listen to what the other person is saying. Don't just wait for your chance to speak. Don't try to anticipate what they're going to say or worry about what you're going to say. Just listen, then react. See where the conversation takes you. Your conversations may be a touch slower, but they will also be more thoughtful. You may forget to practice these me methods for every interaction, but don't worry. Just try and do it for the next one. This exercise can really help you appreciate your interactions and other people a lot more rather than autopiloting your way through them. How many times do we do that? You know, just bump into somebody, have a quick, really brief little interaction with them and just not even, you know, 10 minutes later that conversation's forgotten about and you've kind of moved on to the next stage of your busy life and you haven't really sort of taken it in or appreciated it um, in that moment. You know, if somebody said to you, uh, you bumped into Fred the other day and what was Fred wearing? You would probably wouldn't have even, you probably won't even remember what Fred was wearing, much less what Fred was saying to you. So yeah, that could be a really, really good mindful way um, of communicating with people. Um, I often find when I'm um, communicating with people, I'm quite busy in my head trying to remember things that I needed to tell them <laughs> that I, maybe if I haven't spoken to them a while, I must remember to, talk, to tell so-and-so about that. Um, so maybe the way to, you know, it's quite often my, my conversations are quite often on the telephone rather than face-to-face. -face. Um, so maybe an idea for me to be able to be more mindful, to just jot down some notes about things that 
at some point I want to mention to somebody and then I don't have to have it in my head. So then my head is much more free to be able to really hear them and listen to what they're saying. Um, Cause after all, what's the point, you know, of interacting with people if we don't hear them? And quite often, you know, problems arise because we don't feel heard. But if we're not hearing them, then how can we expect them to hear us? So yeah, I think that's a really, really, really interesting thing to look at for us. Um, for some conversations that we might be having around about this sort of time. Love this illustration. He's just really cute, isn't he? So that's our card and our little message for today. Thanks for watching. If you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.